Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel TN Art. I hope you all are well. So let's start today's video. So today I'm working with jasmineite. It's been long. I haven't worked with jasmineite. So here I have mixed my jasmineite according to the uh, amount I needed. So I'm mixing my uh, black pigment into the jasmineite now. So I have run out of the jasmineite pigment. So actually I really love to add this black pigment because it's highly concentrated because but now I am run out of it. So I will be adding some black acrylic paint as well into the jasmineite. So as you can see it's been I've been out of it and it's dried also. So I ordered this pigment from Resonate and currently that uh, company is closed now. So I need to buy the, uh, the original jasmineite pigment now. So you really have to work uh, really fast with jasmineite because it do uh, harden really fast. So I'm just mixing it and make sure that you have no lumps in your jasmineite. So after mixing my pigment, I did add some black acrylic paint as well. So now I'm pouring the amount of jasmineite I need into these thinker molds. So just a tip here is that keep uh, different molds nearby because if you have extra, you can pour them quickly instead of finding the molds. So I'm just pouring it now. So this is going to be half and half. So half will be jasmineite and half I will be filling it with black resin. So you just wait and watch how I transform these thinkers into something amazing. So I'm just pouring the jasmineite now. So after adding the uh, jasmineite, you need to do the tap, tap, tap. It's really important because you need to release all the air bubbles that are trapped inside. So this is really, really necessary when you're working with jasmineite or any other casting compound as well. So I will leave this to dry for around 30 to 35 minutes. So this is actually next day and someone is not happy so I need to include them. So now we are done here. So this is actually black salt and it's used for using if you are into healing stuff it's used for uh, protection and there are many other magical properties. So I do use them in when I'm making jewelry creations or stuff with resin or yeah there are a lot of things that I do use this. So here I'm just adding this black salt into the resin that I have mixed and the resin that I have taken here is by Istoyo and I have added black pigment into the resin and I added the black salt and now I'm adding black tourmaline. This is a crystal as well. So this is also for grounding and protection and there are other many properties. So if you are into it, that's really fun. If you're not, then it's just I'm just adding crystals to my resin. So I just kept uh, some resin on the side if uh, I got, have too much resin but I think I have mixed enough resin that I will be pouring into the molds. So this layer has been uh, dried up all nicely so I will be pouring the resin on top. So here I'm just mixing it up so because all the salt and the crystals are settled down so I need to mix it really nicely so that everything mix up. So now I will be pouring them into the mold slowly because I will be this is the second layer and I will be filling up all the molds. And after pouring I will leave this to cure and see you next day. So this is the next day all been dried up and let's see how they turned out now time to demold. So I'm really excited about that. So slowly I'm removing them out of the mold because uh, just a fear that I might crack them or something like that. So I need to take them very carefully out of the molds. So they are all out of the molds now. So let's see uh, the look of them. I know how the look will be. So I really love how these turned out and these are beautiful. You can use decor, decor them on their own. A beautiful contrast of gray and gunmetal you can say and black. I just need to remove this piece of resin. It's bothering me. So 
yeah so this is the second one so it's really clean and unique on its own but as you all know that this is really the first step for me and the journey of the creation begins now so i'm just checking out all of these perfect just some resin draping and some jasmineite i'm just removing them so this is how they look so starting off with this cotton cord what i'm doing here is you can see that i'm making some hairs out of this first i thought to make them out of clay but then i thought why not use some diy and easy things instead of sculpting so here i will be at cutting this thread and i will be just i'm just checking the length here and now i will be cutting them according to the size Of as much as I want to add so I think this much is uh, good now I am just tying them on to the middle so that I am I have a good grip of the hair So cutting off the excess thread now so now comes the hard bit i need to open up all the threads now so this is going to take me some time but i will be showing you only one of them and i will do the rest off camera so I, it don't take a lot of time but i'm just showing you how you can make hair out of this usually you need uh, you have these uh, cord cotton cords for macaron So this is all done now and with the help of a toothbrush but there is another there is a comb available for this but i don't know where i have put mine so uh, the toothbrush is working i use this toothbrush to give texture to my clay so here i i'm just brushing them up brushing the hair up and the hair is done now and i will be putting it on my thinker if you are uh, if you got it what i will be doing thumbs up to you but if not still we are making them so this is how they look like and they look so beautiful i just love how this the hair looks like so with the help of a gorilla glue i will be just putting this glue on top of them and now i will be adding the hair i'm just putting on to the sides as well on the shoulders so that the hair hairs get attached to it otherwise they will be moving so that will not look any good So here we go and our thinker got here yay <laughs> so this is how she looks like so i'm just putting up glue again i'm just just told you the reason that you put the hair so that it's all settled well and after doing that you can use your uh, toothbrush again to comb the hair just as you like so let me show you what i was talking about like this you can just brush it up and it's all fine and well so i was really enjoying combing her hair so again this step is you can stop here you can add hair to your thinkers and you can just put them like that this is another step on its own but i will be taking it more forward because this is halloween and these are thinkers related to halloween so actually you need to have a black polymer clay but i didn't have that time so i'm using this green color here later on i will be coloring all of them even i'm making black out of black i do paint my stuff afterwards when i'm done with the clay so here i'm making a witch's hat here yes if now you have guessed we are making witches so these are witching witches thinkers so uh, in my previous uh, video the uh, cabinet of curiosities you can say i made and i made a hat i got a comment that 
they wanted to ask me how I ma made the hat so this is I will be making small hats for these so this is actually the process how I make the hats our uh, uh, rest is up to you whatever you like to add to the witch's hat it's really up to you So if I'm making a big head, I do use some foil to fill up the head so I need less clay. These are small, so that's why I'm just making them on their own. So how, however you like to make the tip of the witch's head or whenever design, whatever you like to add, it's really up to you. I'm just checking all the sides and I will be making other two off camera, but this is the process how I'm making them. And according to the instructions, I will bake them. If you want to use, you can use air dry clay. It's really up to you, whatever clay you want to use. So, so on to the next step. These uh, I have put hair onto all of these thinkers. So now I'm adding some crystals. So this is the middle one. Uh, so to this, I will be adding this Labradorite crystal. And this has such a beautiful flash. And the color, color varieties in this Labradorite are so amazing, ranging from so many colors. This is such a mystical stone. I just sort of love this stone because it's really it it hides its beauty so amazingly. So I'm just checking the sides and angle of the crystal to be shown. So basically, I'm making moon face uh, thinkers here, and you can say these are triple moon as well. So this is something I'm doing here. So this is a complete moon, and the, those other two will be uh, I will be adding the crescent moon here. So I'm just setting is setting them up and showing you that how they will be looking. So at the moment this is just a raw subject. So now my crystals are out and I will be of course putting these crystals onto these witches because what a witch without a crystal. So this is again really up to you. You can add so many things. You it's Halloween. You can add pumpkins. You can add uh, cauldrons. You can add the witch's broom really up to you whatever you want to decide to make with yours i'm just keeping them moon face and simple and i'm adding some crystals on the front and here i'm adding some uh, quartz crystals and then i will be using some uh, pirate crystals and then some of smoky quartz so these were the crystals that i will be using on these So instead of uh, painting a gold color into the black areas, I'm using this gold foil. This is a mixture of different copper foil, gold foil and some uh, different shades. So with the tweezers, I will be putting add this, the clay into the, uh, sorry, the gold foil into the clay because my clay is still not cured. So the foils do get bind with this clay very nicely. So because uh, I'm using a epoxy sculpt here, not the polymer clay. So I will be adding this cool foil into the crevices and the tiny areas that is open. So these are all done now and you can add whatever crystal you want. It's really up to you again. So here I'm just adding the moons now and now it's time to add the hats. So again, I will be putting the Gorilla Glue on top of it and then I will be adding some uh, epoxy sculpt on top of the heads. And on the hat as well, it's really up to you how you like to make your hats. And again, a dollop of Gorilla Glue and now I will be putting up the hats. So in this way, I will be putting the hats on all of, which, all of these witches. So let's see how they all turned out. So this is the final look and I love how they turned out what I thought about them. They turned out really like that. Really simple and moon face which is here perfect for your Halloween or you can keep them otherwise in your cabinet of curiosities. Whatever area you like to put them it's really up to you. So this is just an idea and then again I will be making some angels on Christmas. Yes, I will be doing that. So this is just an idea. You can make anything out of them. You can make fairies, you can make pixies, you can make anything if you, you want. 
there is no limit to your creativity but this was my take on halloween so i hope you like them and if you did please do let me know in comments and also please like subscribe and share thumbs up if you like the video and if you haven't subscribed please consider do so and thank you so much for your amazing comments i always say that but i am really really happy how many beautiful comments i do get from you your suggestions your tips and to keep me safe there are so many amazing comments again thank you so much take good care of yourself bye bye